Hey guys, this is a quick setup video for your MacBook Air. It doesn't really matter which one you guys have. It's just the color difference. Even if you guys have the silver version, same deal, same thing for all of them. So we're gonna start with, with really basics. So right here's your charger and you guys should connect this up right here. It doesn't really matter which end. I could connect this one right here. Again, it doesn't matter. It's USB-C, so it's okay. Then you guys have to plug this into your Mac, okay, to get it fully charging. Even if it's charged up, it's good to plug it in right now, just because you guys don't want it to die along the way or anything like that, all right? And the whole process will actually be a little bit faster. Macs always perform faster if they're plugged into some electricity rather than not. So we're just gonna plug this in right here, this to some electricity, and we're ready to go. So if you guys plugged it in, as soon as you guys open this up, your Mac will start up. If it doesn't, just hold on to that button. Well, just tap that button, which is your power button right here on the right hand side. So this is the very first screen that we see. Right now with your trackpad, you guys can point up to here there or just hit the return key and we're gonna click. So just click on your trackpad just by pressing down on it. We're just gonna choose English. You guys can choose any language that you like. All right, in our second screen, we can choose whatever country you guys like. So we're just gonna choose US actually for now and we're gonna hit continue. So that's right here. We can choose our keyboard, which US for now, we're gonna choose that. And yes, you guys could press show all and see other keyboards so you guys could set up at this point. You guys do need internet for this, so choose whatever Wi-Fi you guys are set up as. So right now it's tech and design on YouTube. All right, we're gonna hit our password. Once you guys put in your password, just hit continue. And then we should see the screen where we can see this, we can read more about it, or just hit continue. Now this point is really important because if you guys have another Mac, then you guys should be able to watch my other video where I can teach you how to transfer everything onto this new Mac, all right? However, this video is setting up your new Mac, so we're just gonna set up from scratch and not transfer anything over. You guys can also import from Windows PC or like I said, from another Mac, all right? However, we're not gonna transfer anything. We're gonna choose the very last option to set up like new. So we're just gonna hit continue for now. All right, this part's a little bit more important than what you guys think. So if you guys don't have an Apple ID right now, what I suggest doing is creating one. So you guys are gonna select this option right here where it says create new Apple ID. I do have a separate video showing you guys how to do it. It's a whole setup process. All you guys need is an email and then you're done. However, in this case, we're gonna skip that step just because we don't need to in order to set up the Mac. However, I highly recommend it. So if you guys have an Apple ID, just put it in there, put your password, you're done, or create one, which I do have a separate video here on my channel. However, that takes a little bit long, so you guys can follow up that video if you guys like, or we can set up this later and just press up here. After we do that, we just have to put skip. Right here, you guys always have to agree, so that's down here below. We're gonna put agree up here and the name of your Mac. Now this is actually also important because later on, if you guys want to change this up, it's actually kind of hard. <laughs> so the easiest way to do this is to choose something wisely right now, what you guys want. You do not have to put your full name. You guys can put your company's name or any name that you like right now. So I'm just gonna call this tech and design. I'm gonna hit my password, password, don't worry, there's no limits. You guys can put something really easy as one, two, three, four if you like, and you guys can take off the password later on. So I'm just gonna put it in one, two, three, four for now. I'm gonna hit continue. Then we should see the screen. So just go on continue again. All right guys, so Siri is pretty cool. It does get in your way kind of if you guys have an iPhone and you guys have Hey Siri already set up on your iPhone. With this also works Hey Siri, so you don't have to touch anything. You guys can just talk to your computer but your iPhone will get in the way, just so you guys know. So I'm just gonna hit continue for now. So we're gonna continue on with this and just hit continues to set up Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? And that's it, you guys have that set up, so just hit continue for now. Of course, you guys could always skip that step, but we just set it up so you guys could see. Now, Touch ID is something pretty cool, so that's up here. However, uh, keep in mind that this is also your power button. So if you guys want to turn on your Mac, you guys can do that or force shutdown. You guys can hold on to the power button. Remember, that's just to force shutdown. 
Other than that, you guys should go to the menu and do it from there. So we're just gonna tap right there. Tap, tap, tap. It's very, very similar to the setup that you guys done in your iPhone. So you guys have just to keep tapping, tapping right here on the right hand side. You guys will see the button and just hit continue. You guys can choose a look. So I'm a really big fan of the dark look. So I'm gonna choose this look right now. Cause I just like the way it looks. It looks a lot more sleek. I can see everything better. It's better for my eyes in particular, but you guys can choose whatever you like. I'm gonna hit continue. And there we go, our Mac is set up. So what type of programs do you guys get with a brand new Mac without buying anything extra? Well, you guys get this stuff, such as Pages, Numbers, and Keynote, all right? Of course, you have the App Store, and then you guys have Photos, Messages, FaceTime, stuff that your iPhone has. So if you guys had an iPhone or iPad, it's the same stuff that's right there. You guys would have it in your Mac for free. You guys do also have other stuff such as iMovie, you guys have GarageBand. So those are pretty cool programs. However, if you guys are looking for Microsoft Word and all that stuff, you guys will have to download and obviously that's paid for. Other stuff that I can show you here, let's see, we have books, we have other that has really nothing really. Um, something that you guys will have to mess around with is disk utility, that's to format stuff. We have QuickTime Player, no big deal, that's just to play movies and stuff like that if you guys want to play some stuff. And that's all you guys get on your Mac. Now, something that you guys should set up right away, I would say is go to System Preferences, under System Preferences, right here you guys will see Trackpad and Mouse. So you guys bought a mouse, you guys can set it up right now. However, trackpad, I wanted to show you guys that because a lot of people miss out on this. So right here on the trackpad, we have secondary click and we're gonna tap right here on this check mark right here where it says tap to click. Let's just set that up. What does that mean? That we don't have to click on our actual trackpad, we can tap, okay? And I think that's better because there's less wear and tear from your Mac. So if I tap with two fingers, I'm gonna be able to see this. And that's my right clicking, just like PCs have, Max have right clicking, all right? So you guys can see that right now. And anyways, that's your basics. Something else that you guys should look at right now is go to your app store, which is down here, or up here, your Apple logo. I want you guys to go there. Let's just go to my Apple logo. I'm gonna go to my app store, which is the third option, and I'm gonna look for updates. Updates, there's always updates available, especially with new Macs. So we're gonna go right here and we're gonna update everything, okay? So these are the programs that I mentioned that you guys have in your Mac. So you guys should be able to just click on update all and you guys are set to go. All right, something else, um, you guys might see some updates coming up later on under system preferences, that's down here below, system preferences, or if I click on my Apple logo right here on the top, my second option, system preferences. Some updates might appear there later on. Right now, I don't see anything, but something might be coming up there. I'm just gonna click on the update all for now, right on top of here. I'm gonna have to put in my Apple ID. So remember I told you guys, you should get an Apple ID. And it's good to have an Apple ID because that way this computer is linked up to your Apple ID once you guys activate this Mac. So it's very important, very, very important to do that. But anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.